Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by today. This is Sandy from Color Creatively and I want to share with you all the pictures that I've completed in the month of May 2020. You'll see right here I've got 13 books. So let's go through them one by one. And first we're going to look at the Deborah Muller books because I was featuring Deborah Muller this month and I was working with Nikki in Niagara and we were both uh, uploading pictures of Deborah Muller's books to Facebook and Instagram. So we'll start with the Deborah Muller books and we'll go and take a look at them, okay? Uh, let me see if I need to zoom in a little bit here. Bear with me. There we go. Okay. Um, first I worked in, and I don't know what order I did these in, so bear with me on that too. But first I'm going to show you Springtime by Deborah Muller. And I did this one here in this book. Just this one. I made a blue background and then I realized, hey, she's laying on grass. So I made the little green grass drawing, I don't know, the little marks for grass, but it came out okay anyway. So I did that one, and I did this with markers, and I detailed with pencil, alcohol markers. Yep. Okay. The next one I worked in from Deborah Muller, I'll show you, is Chubby Fairies. And this one I probably did the most in. Uh, I did this one trying to make it a foggy background and I made the moon gold instead of silver and the fogginess I guess came out okay but um, anyway it is what it is and then I did let me look at it here this one in the book which is um, I've got a lot of the folk art extreme glitter acrylic paint on the wings of the bees and on the fairy wings here. So I did that one. Bending over in a jelly jar. And the last one in this book I did was this fairy here. And again, I made the wings glittery with the Folk Art Extreme Glitter Paint. And here on the snail, you can see some of this uh, decoration. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look at another one I did. I worked in this and I used oil pastels on this picture. I only did one picture in here, these emu. Got, we have a lot of the extreme glitter, um, acrylic glitter paint on them. Their jewelry, their feathers, the butterflies. And the oil pastels worked out really great in here, and they don't hardly, I mean, there was a couple little spots where it bled through because I used a little too much water, but basically this works fine in Amazon paper. Okay, let's try Little Faye now. And I only did one in this book. I did this one. I think I did a total of 10 from Deborah Muller. And I did a total of 35 pictures in 13 books. That's what I wanted to say. I probably already said it. Okay. Here we go. And we did this with the oil pastels also. And then detailed with pencil. And as you can see, it did not go through. What went through was the alcohol marker that I used on her skin. Great. So give uh, oil pastels a try. They're wonderful. Okay, uh, the last one I did was Zen Doodle, and this is a color by number by Deborah Muller, um, and I really enjoyed this book because the numbers are small, so they don't show up and disrupt your drawing, and yet the spaces were large enough to really do some detailing, and I'm not sure what I used on this. Oh, this was... Um, water-based marker and detail with pencil. See, I did, and that didn't go through at all. So we did this one, the bird with the cherries. I don't remember, I've got to start writing down everything I, I did on each page. Again, this is the water-based markers 
and pencil. Or was these all pencil? I don't know now, I'll tell you the truth. I think they were a combination. And the pictures in this book, Spring Awakening, are very, very cute. So they that's my color by number, and I love the way they came out. Okay. Then I worked on this book. I know we worked on Hannah Carlson last month, but this month I just sort of continued. And I did this uh, owl here. The crystals we did on a on a technique video. So you might want to check out my playlist on techniques. We did that and then I finished the coloring of the owl and I did a stencil in the background and I tried to make it look like it was it was like um, clouds misting up here. I could have misted it a little bit more but um, I did that with soft pastels. Okay and he's with a pencil. Then I worked on this one, and I used my Derwent Graphitent pencils to get that old-fashioned antique look here on the frame and on the keys. And they're Derwent Graphitent. They're a colored pencil with graphite in them, and they are just wonderful. Then I did my little jewel or uh, gemstone technique here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I could zoom in a little bit closer on these, I guess. There you go. Yeah, a little, um, my gemstone technique, and they came out really great. And then I used a wood-like, a wood grain stencil with soft pastels in the background. And the last one I did was this one again, the jewels, the, um, and this uh, stone, gemstone, I put cracks in it. So I did the bat here. And then of course, saw pastel and a stencil to give a little decoration. Okay, I worked on that one. And then I worked on this one and I have mixed feelings about it. I don't know, I was asleep or something when I did it. I'm just kidding. I uh, wasn't thinking. But uh, this is with water-based markers, totally. And this is um, the oil pastel water-soluble background. But I should have made this a third color or a different color than the butterfly. But it is what it is, and I just wanted it to be an abstract, swirled background. Um, so that is what I did on that one. And then I worked in Horses, Color by Number, by George Tufexes. And I like the way they came out also. For me, these are a lot of fun. Um, I did this one. That's the cover, but it comes out, this is printed, and this is with, these were with pencils. These were all with uh, Cezanne or Crayola pencils. So they're all from budget friendly pencils. And then I did this one. It's all budget friendly pencils. I just really have been enjoying this book. And this one is the same. Budget friendly pencils. Okay. Let's put those back. Now I got into something totally different called Color Counts Travel the World. And I did one double page spread in here. And this is um, a really unique book. Um, you have the drawings like this with numbers in them and a color key. But the next drawing is the same thing without the color, without the numbers and the color key. And you can color it your own way. And there are several of these double page spreads throughout the book. And I did this one of the Taj Mahal. And it looks so intricate because it's such small spaces. But you know what? When you get to coloring this, this color by number, it just goes so fast. No, this isn't something maybe that I want to display in my journal. 
my uh, portfolio, but it's just a lot of relaxation, stress fee, and this was so much fun. Although someone told me they thought I should keep it in my portfolio. So it's, it's just a lot of fun. Okay. And the other one I worked in was Color Counts Landscapes. My son had given me this book, and I pulled it out and decided to use it. And um, I've done two in here, and it's the same type of book. I did this one first. It's the Cactus in the Desert. And you can't really tell a lot of times what you're coloring till you get it filled in. But this, again, was Crayola pencils, and the other one, Suzanne pencils, both budget-friendly. Okay, and then this one I did with Suzanne colored pencils, and you can see the sun or sun rising or setting and the reflection on the water. The deer, I couldn't, and there's a cabin here. I couldn't see that till I got the drawing colored in. It's really fun, fun, fun. And I encourage you to give it a try if you like color by number. Okay, then there was another book I worked in, which is Mandalas by C.L. Aldridge. And I can't do just one mandala. So on here... I put my extreme glitter paint because um, what I did here on this gold color is I used my technique, and you might want to refer to my technique video. Well, I give it a marble look uh, using hand sanitizer. And uh, because of the color being so light, that, that technique works better on uh, medium to dark shades. And this was a little too light, so it looked sort of funny. So I added the extreme glitter paint and it came out fine and then I used water-based markers on all of these in this book I used Tombow's all of this is Tombow's and I detailed with pencil this one's glittery and here again is that uh, technique I wanted it to look like clouds I got a little too many clouds maybe but this is the hand sanitizer technique. Check out my techniques playlist. And this has got some glitter on it too. These are all water-based Tombos. This one I've already had done for a while. And then this is the last one. And I did that technique with the hand sanitizer on the big flower here and on the border on the background. And it was just enough to give it a little bit of kick. Okay, I want to finish this book. It's my goal, and to finish this book here also is my goal. So I'm going to try to work a little bit each month on some of them. Okay, let's go to this one now. Okay, I might, uh, well, I can just, don't need to zoom in. Okay, these were all with water-based markers. I love my Tombos. So, uh, and I did not put any glitter on here at all. I liked it like it was. And I just uh, have a few Tombos, so I don't have very many. But by rotating the colors and also uh, the different designs, it gives it a different look. And I do leave some white spaces sometimes because that adds to it. If I colored that in, that would have taken away from the whole a center point that draws your eye to that uh, this mandala. The same with this one. And then some I'll color in. Let's see if I have that. And this one I colored in everything because it looked better that way. So it just depends on the pattern and the colors I'm using. And this one I left some white area, which I really like. This one I colored in. I thought it looked better all the way colored in. And that's the last one I did. And this one with these Tombos, just that color, that fuchsia color came out so pretty. Okay, well that's it for the month of May 2020. 
and I hope you've enjoyed my completed color book pages. Stay tuned. In June, we are working on uh, um, Johanna Bassford's book and books, any of them, Johanna Bassford books. So until we meet again, happy coloring.